guys, Rachel. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. Today, I am bringing you a something old with the Rimmel Magnifies Crimson Edition palette. Now, if you're new to my channel and you don't know what something old is, it is where I take a older palette from my collection and do multiple looks with it to kind of just play with the makeup I already have. And this one was requested when I did a palace on probation on it and decided to keep it. So since I already did one look with the palace on probation and I've got a lot going on with moving and all of that, I decided to just do two looks in this something old today. I did one like wearable smoky brown eye and this pink and gold half cut crease. So I hope you guys like the two very different looks I created today. And just a reminder, my shirts are still available. I would really appreciate you checking them out. I have a link down below. I have several designs and I do have one design that does benefit a charity. So go ahead and look in the description box for that link and let's zoom in and get started. And I have already primed with the Sigma eyeshadow base in Persuade. So we're just jumping right in to the Crimson Edition palette. And I am going in with this cool tone brown right here on a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to take that on the outer corner and then fluff that into the transition area. But it's pretty dark so I'm trying to go lightly on the inner part so that it's not too intense. More of a light wash versus most of the darkness on the outer edge. Can you hear that thunder? I love thunderstorms. That's so exciting. Okay, this is creating like a, a line. I don't like it, I don't like it. All right, and then do the other eye. First place it on the outer edge and then lightly go into the transition area and try not to get that harsh line. I'm just having a hard time with life today so don't mind me if these looks aren't like my best ever. It's quite stressful with the moving situation and everything and I'm having a day. So I just layered it up a little bit to darken out the outer corner even more. I'm just gonna go blend that edge out. All right, so then I'm taking this shimmery cool toned brown on a flat shader brush and wetting it and placing that all over the lid all the way to the inner corner an outer corner just everywhere then I'm gonna take the fluffy blending brush and blend the edge of that shimmer out into the crease color really make it seamless seriously let me know in the comments if you can hear that thunder and then I'm taking lasting line on my waterline, this is the color Lasting Brown. It just makes me so happy to hear thunder, I love thunder. So then I am taking that cool tone brown on a flat definer brush and just pressing that up against the lashes. Then I'm going to take the brush that comes in the palette and take this light pinky color and use that to blend that out. And then for an inner corner highlight, I'm going into this shade right here and I'm wetting it and blend that into the lower lash line and that'll tie in both the brown and pinky tones you have going on. 
and then take a little bit of that on the brow bone and I like to if I feel it got a little too intense or too low down just rub it out with my finger I find that's the easiest thing for me to so this is pretty much the look I'm just going to apply mascara and I'll be right back okay so I was taking selfies of this look like I usually do before I move on to the next look and I decided to do the little emo hair flip thing and I think this like grungy brown eye looks really good like it it takes me back I used to rim my eyes in dark brown shadow and just blend it a little bit and <laughs> I didn't have the emo hair going on but that was like the eye vibe I went for and if if I thought I could have pulled off the hair back then I would have does this totally scream like 2005 to you guys or what I don't know but let's get on to the next look this is the first look with the Rimmel magnifies crimson edition palette all right so we're on to look two and the final look I've already primed my eyes with the usual and now, oh, what am I doing? I don't remember. Now I'm going into this pinky tone right here with a fluffy crease brush and putting that lightly in the transition area. I just want a light wash of color, which is perfect to do with this palette. Perfect exactly what I'm going for and do the other eye just lightly blend it slightly in and above the crease or do whatever fits your eye shape because you know everybody has different eye shapes and different positionings and needs then I'm going to take this dark pink color on a tapered brush and mix it with the bright pink and put that on the outer corner want it to look white pink and blend it inwards covering about half of the lid just like that and then take what's left over and blend it into the crease because I am going to do like a half cut crease type thing it on the outer corner and then blending it inwards till about halfway covering half the lid and then blending it in the crease and take some of just the dark pink and intensify the very outer corner just a bit more Then take a cut crease brush and I'm just taking my Milani concealer and I'm putting some on the back of my hand and you don't necessarily need a cut crease brush just an angled brush will do as well but I'm just tracing lightly above my crease and filling in I'm going about halfway where it gets to like the highest point usually I do this with a cream concealer it's quite different with a liquid it is a bit harder to control I have mad respect to the people who do it with liquid every time I find if I have a weebly wobbly line I just take the brush I was using to lay down the color I covered and go over it and usually that fixes it some people like to put concealer right here and then look up I find that gets it just a little too high for me I don't like the placement of doing that so I just try and follow slightly above the crease then I'm gonna take this gold shade right here on a wet flat shader brush and go over the concealer I do not set the concealer first I want 
the concealer to be wet and I want the brush to be wet so that these are as intense and metallic as possible because these shimmers from the palette are pretty satin versus metallic I would say and so I, I try and help them out and then I take this color right here and go over the edge to blend it into the pink on the outer corner now I know not everybody is comfortable doing half cut creases but the thing that I do that makes me more comfortable doing it and me quicker at it and not care as much about how it looks is using a glitter liner to go over the edge it corrects anything that you messed up as far as this top edge as well as it just makes it look like to me it makes it look like like you tried harder than you did because I just quickly threw this on so now we're gonna trace it with a glitter liner and make it look even like I spent an hour on my eyes or something And this is Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay, one of their heavy metal glitter liners. See the difference between those? Like this just looks so much more like glam. But I need to let that dry. I'm gonna do the other one while that dries. And I don't care that they're not exactly the same shape because the thing is my eyes aren't exactly the same shape so no matter what I do like it's not gonna look the same just like my eyebrows like I'm not one of those perfectly symmetrical people so I just work with what I have <laughs> and keeping my eyes like this as long as possible so it can dry and not transfer everywhere is a very important step for me so while it does that I'm going to put on some liner. This is the Superhero Liner by It Cosmetics. I don't know why, I feel like this is taking forever to dry and I can't open my eyes yet, but I think my wings are good, so I'm gonna take the Midnight Cowboy Liner and go over the outside wing. just the wing not the whole thing to kind of add some balance with the glitter on the inside to the glitter on the outside for the lower lash line I'm gonna be taking this pink liner from Colourpop it is insomniac and I'm just gonna put that on the waterline without getting glitter everywhere hopefully oh that's working nice good job insomniac good job get on that waterline then on a flat definer brush I'm going to take the dark pink shade and run that right up against the lashes. Then I'm going to take the bright pink on this brush from the palette and blend that out. Again I'm trying not to open my eyes too much because I don't want glitter to transfer everywhere. That's the downside of these uh, glitter liners is you gotta let them dry or they will transfer <sighs> okay I think we're good so now I'm just gonna take this champagne shade on a tiny brush and pop that right on the inner corner to sort of be something different from the gold and stand out and also right up against the brow on the brow bone then I'm going to put on a little more mascara because wiping off the last look wiped off my mascara and I will be back to show you the finished look and this is the second and final look with the Rimmel Magnifies Crimson Edition palette And that completes
completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. And if you have any palettes of mine that you would love to see a three looks video on, please let me know. I will happily do that. I have a whole palette collection video where you can see everything that I own. If there's anything you're interested, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.